Good morning, North Carolina Prepper here. I was doing a thing on an EMP and solar storm protector the other day, and then I got to thinking. There's a very simple and really cheap common common person's protection to EMP, and what we have for common protection is a potato chip bag, a mylar potato chip bag. So what we're gonna do is first, um, this is my old phone. Um, as you see, it works. It's, it's fully charged, no service or whatever. But let me go ahead and shut it down. Wait. Powered off. Now this has still got Wi-Fi, and I'll use my Wi-Fi shit at the fan network that I have set up. I'm going to put it all the way in the case here. And I'll put that in my, uh, my potato chip bag and seal it up. The thing about important about EMP is you can't have it touch. It has to be isolated from the mylar. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my wife's phone just for demonstration purposes. And I'll, I'll go ahead and call it here on my phone. Just a second. Let's show that it works. And call it. Okay. So you can see it got a call. Alright. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this in. A, I'm going to wrap it up in a paper towel. This is just to prevent it from touching the bag. So we know the phone works. I'm going to go ahead and put it like that. I'm going to put a potato chip bag. And this right here would actually just be good enough. Um, take it. Right, that'd be good enough right there. Let me show you here. Let me call it again. You hear that ringing? There's nothing. So that's proof of concept right there. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is actually unseal it like this. And I'm going to take her phone out. Which you'll see, no missed calls. Or a missed call, I mean, you see a missed call in there. I'm not going to do it because it'll show my phone number, but trust me, it says missed call. But I'm going to take this one, which has got the phone in it, charged and turned off, and put it back in the bag. It doesn't need paper towel because it's already insulated by the, the dielectric breakdown strength of the uh, cardboard box. I'm going to fold that over. Actually, I'm just going to seal this with the bag sealer. Also known as the wife's flat iron. Pull that off. Go and seal it. Yikes, that's hot. There's a little bit more there. Just stroke it across to do a big old good seal. There we go. Now you can see there's a good seal on there all the way across. And that's it. The TNT, I should have probably took the air out of it. Um, yeah, it's sealed to there, but I have to reopen that and put the air out. You could put a maybe an oxygen door, but see, I don't really want to pull a vacuum on electronics. Because um, 
when you pull a vacuum on electronics, there's something called um, electrolytic capacitors. And these basically have a, uh, there are two pieces of foil with the separator that's got oil in it, like foil and paper and foil and paper and oil. Well, the vacuum will pull the oil out of the electrolytic capacitor, or can, can pull it out. So I choose not to do it, but I'll take a little air out of this and reseal off. You know, in fact, let me just, uh, get this, let me just poke a hole in it. across that hole. Done deal. Now I could just tape it up. Yeah, still a little bit of air, but good enough. Label it so I know what it is. And put the date, whatever today's date is. Let's see, it is the uh, 311 2012. So now I got that. I know it's safe from electromagnetic pulse, I know it's safe from lightning. And I know it's safe from geostorms and solar flares and all that good stuff. And I'll put it away and we're good to go. It's, it's sealed in there, it's old cell phone, and it's in the case. And we don't have to worry about this now. It's to be put on a shelf or put away in a plastic tub with EMP protected stuff or whatever. But it's totally sealed and safe in there. And anybody can do it. This, this is pretty much free because I had a potato chip bag. But, you know, so meal and EMP protection is going to run you about $1.50. All right, you guys have a great day. Please rate and subscribe. North Carolina Prepper says, be safe.